So fair warning in this video, and pretty much all I'm going to do is talk. There's going to be a little bit of wind noise. I also apologize for that too. Don't have a whole lot to say about the belt. I will do a little mini two-year review of the belt after we get done with what's coming next, which is an up-close and personal look of exactly what failed. You can see that there's definitely a, a flaw in the design. As far as wear goes on the rest of the buckle, there's very little. We can see that there's a couple spots where... I uh, believe this is some kind of powder coat or something, has worn, worn through. Uh, no rust. It's in great condition. Uh, the screws are in good condition. The ratchet mechanism, very good condition as well. Overall, aside from this catastrophic failure, the, the buckle's in good condition. It would be very easy for them to, well, I mean, I'm no engineer, but it does seem like it would be fairly easy for them to make a revision of this buckle with uh, thicker metal, because that is clearly a, uh, a point of failure, unless they're trying to make these uh, fail on, in a certain time window so they can uh, you know, get some more money from you. And this is the buckle that I decided to uh, change this one out for. It was about $20 for a replacement of these. You can see it's still shiny. It's got a nice clean finish on it. No scratching or anything like that. It's super easy to change a buckle on one of these. It's literally two screws. It slides out. You bend the thing down. And yeah, it comes with instructions. I'm not going to go into that. It's extremely easy to change one of these out. Uh, let's go ahead and bring some calipers into here and let's look at the metal difference between these two and I'll show you why I would recommend this buckle over this one. You can see we're uh, pretty much zeroed out here using inches. Let's go ahead and check the thickness of the uh, metal that they're using. We're con we can see that it's about 0.072. Let's go ahead and check the thickness on the steel that they're using here and we can see that that is significantly thicker metal. Let's go ahead and check the width uh, right here. Let's go ahead and go right to the thinnest part, right where it broke here. This is going to be kind of hard to get an exact. It looks like about as thin as it's going to get. 0.235. Now let's go over here to this buckle and let's check the thickness at the thinnest point here. See that we're about 0.31. So the metal that they're using on this buckle is thicker in both of the both of the dimensions that matter so seeing that this buckle can catastrophically fail in the manner it has i would recommend going for this style i wish i had all the belt buckles here to give you a uh, a good look you know using calipers to show you which ones would be a good belt buckle to pick and which ones wouldn't but unfortunately i do only have these two belt buckles at my disposal so i hope that helps pretty much for the last two years since the pandemic began i've been using the core essential utility belt and unfortunately i do have to call it a utility belt because if i call it what they call it the youtube sensors are going to shadow ban my video that's just great also there's some chicken noise in the background i apologize for that too anyhow so for about two years i've been using the core essential utility belt and uh, it hasn't given me any problems until recently. It's been very reliable. It seems like it's built fairly robust, well, at least with the buckle I have on it now. Uh, and the, you know, the ratchet mechanism on the belt strap itself does seem to be the plastic ratchets. Uh, that does seem to be fairly robust as well. Um, I'll go ahead and throw up a little overview right here. The belt where it gets most of its action is in surprisingly good condition for being used for almost two years. We can see that we do have a little bit of fraying on the outside here, but that's the worst of it. There's really no point going the rest of the way down the belt. See that it is... Ah, it's hard to get an angle off of this camera. It's straight still. It's uh, got a little bit of a curve in it, but it's still fairly straight. Let's go ahead and check out the ratchet mechanism here. You can see that that is pretty much where I use it most of the time. And if I go right up in there and get personal with it, you can see that there really isn't anywhere. There's a little bit of warping of the plastic, but there is basically no wear on that plastic strip. When I first saw that this was plastic, I gotta say, I was a little concerned and a little disappointed, but after seeing this, man, that looks fantastic. I am extremely impressed that this ratchet strap has uh, held up as well as it has. And I mess with the ratchet mechanism multiple times a day. Both the buckle side of the ratchet mechanism and the belt side of the racket ratchet mechanism seems to be fairly robust, seems to be fairly reliable. I've never had it skip 
That's something I was a little concerned about when I initially purchased it. I have never once had the ratchet mechanism skip. Now, the belt is a little expensive. It's about 60 bucks. Now, I don't know if that's standard for all utility belts, but it does seem a little steep for me, but ultimately, it's, it's the amount of value that you get out of the product that really sells it. The, the price doesn't matter anywhere near as much as you think. People buy iPhones, right? You could buy six Moto Gs for the same price as an iPhone, but people still buy iPhones because it's the value that you get. Ultimately, I decided to go to Core Essentials website because I think I was probably going to buy a new belt just because I, I just, it's my favorite belt. I'm a fan of the quick release and the, 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 the granularity of control that, that you get with this. You know, maybe you just want just an extra quarter inch or maybe you just want a little extra, you know, half an inch, you know, plus or minus. You can get that with the Core Essential utility belt. Now, as far as actually using it with its intended purpose, I'm primarily a pocket carry kind of guy, but I have carried uh, in the waistband and outside the waistband with it on some occasions. Not all the time, but on some occasions. And um, it does a good job. There's, there's not much I can say. It, uh, it supports the holster just fine. It doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. It's a pretty sturdy belt. Overall, if I were to give this belt a score out of 10, Man, in terms of utility, just overall utility, I got to give it probably a seven and a half, eight, and then that's probably a little conservative. Uh, I don't want to be one of those people that's like, oh my God, I love it, and it's a 10 out of 10. You know, I, I try to remove emotion from the equation. I'm pretty happy with the Core Essential belt, so much so I did go to the Core Essential website. Probably going to buy another one. But when I seen that I could buy a new belt buckle, or I could buy the belt individually, like you don't have to just buy a whole new belt. That was, that was pretty exciting to me. If another part breaks, if the ratchet mechanism wears out on the belt itself, as you've seen, there is a little bit of wear on mine. Not much, but a little bit of wear. If that wears out over time, I'm probably going to buy a new belt. I am very happy with the experience of using the Core Essential belt. The value that I get out of it is more than I would get with just like a, a leather belt. There's no rusting, there's no stretching, there's more granular control, and uh, it does seem to hold its intended tools quite well. So overall, the Core Essential Utility Belt does get a thumbs up from me, and I would definitely recommend it if you're in the market for something that's tough, granular, if you're in the market for something that's tough, has granular control, just, I wouldn't get that specific belt buckle. I would, I would recommend the one that I have right now. I can't speak to any of the others. I think it would be interesting to get a set of calipers on the rest of the belt buckles. But the one that I originally got that broke, that is definitely a thumbs down for me. The buckle I have with the belt, that's, that's a thumbs up for me. So with that being said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Maybe I can answer them. I, I don't have a lot of other experience with the belt, but maybe. Who knows? Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It helps the algorithm spread my video to other people who may be interested in picking the belt up as well. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Editor here. Yes, yes, I know. Before you comment, my fly was down the whole time. <laughs> Sorry, I hope that wasn't too distracting. I'm not reshooting it. It is what it is. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video.